Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back into my channel. So in this lab and demo, we're going to talk about ACL. We're going to configure this, I mean, IPv4 ACL. Now, by the way, what is ACL? Well, access control list. ACL contains rules that grant or deny access to certain digital environments. There are two types of ACLs, file system ACLs and filter access to file and or directory. And there's file system ACL that tell operating system which use can access the system that and what privilege the user or allow. But you can see here the key topic, it says that SCL access control list, also known as, known as SCL or access list, or sequential list of access control entries, SCEs, that perform permit or deny packet classification based on predefined conditional marching statements. Packet classification start at the top lower sequence and proceed down high sequence until a match pattern is identified. When a match is, is found, the appropriate action permit or deny is taken and processing stop. At the end of every ACL is an implicit deny. A C E, which denies all packets that did not match earlier in the ACL. So note that access list apply on layer three interface, or sometimes referred to as a router ACL or ACLs. So SCL can be used to provide packets classification for a variety of features such as quality of service, QOS. Network address translation and AT, or identifying network within routing protocols. So this section explores the primary use, which is provide basic traffic filtering functionality. While many different kinds of SCL can be used for packets filtering, only the following types are covered in this chapter. Numbered standard SCL. This SCL defined packets based on solely on the source network and the use numbered entry 1 to 99 and 13 or oh, 13, I mean 1300 and 1999. And so forth. So you could see here how do we do wildcard and subnetting and stuff like that. So numbered ACL. So say define the ACL using the command, access list command, I mean number denied, whatever. So now guys, and that's some Cisco command on how to apply ACLs. So you could, if you, if you wanna follow this, um, this channel to, with the purpose of taking your CCMP and core exam. So this is a very good um, video for you. You could come here and take your time and pause this and take a look at it, making sure that you understand the concept of ACL. So this is very important, it's a security feature. So, um, by the way, let's go ahead and pull back a tracer and start our lab we configuring ACL on IPv4. Let's make this bigger. So now, the first part of this configuration, we're going to configure, apply, and verify an extended number of ACL. On, on part two, we're going to configure, apply, and verify an extended name ACL. So say, for instance, the scenario that there's two employees need access to service provided by the server PCA, I mean, PC1 only needs FTP access while PCD, I mean, PC2 only needs the web access. So both computers need to be able to ping the server, but not each other. 
Now, what we're going to do in part one, we're going to configure, apply, and verify and extend as a number of ACL. So from global, let's go ahead and just pull the router here and, and start making this configuration. So as you know, enable, oh, sorry. So this typo is going to make it take a little while before we, we can start um, um, making our configuration. Now, um, if we would say, what, like, what is SEL and how it works? Well, an access control list is a list of rules that specify which user or system are granted or denied access to a particular object or system resource. Access control lists are also installed in router or switches. They are act as filter managing which traffic can access the network. Now, what does ACL what is SCL network example? Well, the most common example of an access control list is include web server, DNS server, and remote access or VPN system. The internal router of a DMZ contains stricter SCLs to protect the internal network from more specific attacks. Okay, so we could do conf D. I'll tell you what, guys. How about we do access list and question mark? You see, you get from one to 99 IP standard access list and 100 to 199 IP extended access list. All right. So now let's do all power put 100 space question mark. Now you see it says that deny specific packets to reject, permit specific packets to forward and remote access list entry comment. Right? So that's what we have here. Now to permit FTP traffic and permit followed by, by question mark. Let's go ahead and do all power 100, let's say permit and question mark. Now, what do we get? We have HFP authentication header protocol. That's why it stands for. We have EIGRP, which is Cisco EIGRP routing protocol. We have ESP, which is encapsulation security payload. We have G E G R E, which is Cisco G R E tunneling for you know IP sector stuff like that. We have ICMP, which is Internet Control Message Protocol, like the ping command. We have IP, which is any internet protocol. We have OSPF, which is open short path first water protocol. It's a protocol on water, TCP, and we have transmission control. I mean protocol, and we have UDP, which is user diagram protocol. Now, when configuring and apply this SEL, S, I mean, the, this SEL should permit the FTP and ICMP. So the ICMP is listed above, but the FTP does not. So this is because the FTP is an application layer protocol that use the, the TCP as the transport layer. So let's go ahead and do the access list 100, permit TCP and see something. So let's do permit TCP and question mark. What do we have? So we have the ABCD source address and any, any source host and the host is single source host. So, the source address can represent a single device, such as PC1, by using the host keyword. And then the IP address of PC1 using the keyword any 
permits, any host or any network filtering can also be done by a network address. In this case, it is any host that has an address belonging to the 192.168 or whatever. Now, let's go ahead and type in. So, so let's go ahead and type in this. I mean, one of those addresses here. Let's see. Let me get it. Okay. Oh. Let's do. Access list TCP one seven two dot two two dot three four dot six four and do question mark. Now you see we have the ABC source wild card bit. So to calculate the wild to calculate the wild card the wild card bit. Guys, to calculate the wildcard bit, you have to do, say if we could find this. Let's see if we can pull Microsoft Word so we could do the wildcard bit. Let so the wild the wildcard bit, the wild card bit. Is that let's say we have one 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 so we have eight up to four okay so hopefully this is better let's make a big gap. Oh, uh, yeah, this four, six, seven. And then we have. So, this is the wild, the wild card bit for the IP address 172.22.34 and 64. So, let's make this. Yo, 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 yo. So, this should be equal to a two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two two four. Right now. In this mother, what we're gonna do is wherever there is a one, we're gonna put a zero in the bottom. Then space, then, 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 space, oh, sorry, space, then, 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 oh, sorry, space, then, then. Now, where, whenever there is a zero, we're going to put a one in the bottom. So this should equal to what? To the zero, that zero, that zero, that zero. That thirty one. Okay. So now let's go back to this. Make this bigger. And what we're gonna do, all power. So we are DCPs one seven two that two two that three four that six four. So we're gonna do zero dot zero dot zero dot thirty one. Why is it says the command is incomplete? Okay, so yes. Question mark. Now you see it gives you the ABCD destination address and the same. We so the ABC destination address, the any destination host, the EQ march only packets on a given port number. And the GT, which is much only packet with a greater port number, with a greater port number, 
And we have the host, which is a single host destination. We have the March, which is the only packet lower. We have the NEQ, and we have what? March only package the wedge. So guys, the configuring the destination address in this scenario, we are filtering traffic for a single destination, which is the server. So we can enter the host keywords following by the server IP addresses. So let's go ahead and do what? Go ahead and do op owl. Let's do host. And then we're going to put the IP address of the server, which, um, which this IP here was the server, right? There. So the 172. So let's call that. Let's do 172.22.34.65. Oh, question mark. Now, you see, you notice that one of the options is CR, which is this one here. Sorry, CR, see if you could just underline just this. So the CR, it means carriage return. In other words, you can, you can press enter and the statement would permit all the TCP traffic are under. We are only permitting the FTP traffic default. Enter the EQ word, I mean keyword, followed by, uh, by quotation mark to display the available option, then enter the FTP, and then press enter. So let's go ahead and do the up hour. We already have it here. Let's see. Okay. So let's do the EQ. A question mark. So what do we get? We get the FTP file transport. The FTP file, I mean file 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 transfer protocol for twenty one. Pop. Post Office Protocol version 3, 110, which is the POP3, SNMP, 25, Telnet, 30, 23, and WHTP, which is port 80. So now, do we have So let's do the EQFTP. Right. So now we can create a second access list that's meant to permit the ICMP, which is the paying central traffic from the PC1 to server. So note that the access list number will mean the same, and a specific type of ICMP traffic does not need to be specified. So let's do access list. Go ahead and do this. We're gonna do the permit. We'll do the ICMP 172.22.34.64 and the wildcard number and the host. Just remove this. Oh. What am I? Permit. The ICMP, then go here, we move those. Okay. Now, 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 guys. Now, all the traffic is denied by default. If we execute the show access list command and verify that the access list is 100, contain the correct statement. 
So let's go ahead and do on the router, we could do do, do show access list. So you see now, so you see now, you notice that the statement a, denying any any does not appear at the end of the access list. So the default execution for an access list is that if a packet does not match a statement in the access list, it is not permitted through the interface. So how about we do, So we could apply the SEL on the correct interface to filter traffic. But from one own perspective, the traffic that the SEL 100 applies to is the inbound from the network connected to the interface gigabit zero slash zero interface. So let's enter the, the configuration mode and do that. Not that way. On the actual operational network, it is not a good practice to apply the untested access list to an active interface. So let's do interface. Go ahead and make this gigabit zero slash zero. And then we could do IP, IP access group 100 in. Okay. So now you can verify the, uh, the SCL implementation by pinging from PC1 to the server. If the ping was unsuccessful, and verify the IP address before continuing. So let's see. So from PC1 to the server, the username and the password are both six. Oh, okay. PC1. Try to ping. And seven two dot dot two two dot three four dot six four. You should ping six two. Not six four, but six two. Oh. Also, we should do FTP, but we got a ping anyway. But this should be FTP one seven two dot two two dot three four dot six two. Now the username is Cisco and the password is Cisco. Okay. So now let's quit. So we log in. Let's quit the FTP server. Now we Paying from PCA to PC, I mean, we're paying from PC1 to PC2, the destination host should be unreachable. Try that. So this command prompt, and let's try, it's the IP of this. Let's pen 172.22.34.98. So the, this destination should be unreachable. So the name ACL starts with the IP keywords from the global configuration mode. So let's do.
let's do from round one. You can configure the access, I mean, the, the you can configure the name standard for the extended ACL. This access list filter both source and destination IP addresses. The four, it must be extended, enter the HTTP underscore only as the name. So guys, what I'm saying is, let's pull Wilder. Let's just make this bigger. Let's exit out one and do IP access list and question mark. So you see it says the standard extended. So now we could do, let's do the extended. So we could do the IP access list, extended HTTP underscore only. Enter. Now, the prompt change, you, you are now in the extended name ACL configuration mode. All device from the PC2 lane need TCP access. So let's go ahead and do embed TCP 172.2.2. Two two dot three four dot nine six, and let's do a question mark to see something. You see how it asks for the wildcard number again. So as I showed you how to do the wildcard, so for the purpose of not making this video too too long, we're gonna go ahead and just type in the wildcard number. So let's do TCP of our, and the wildcard number is zero dot zero dot zero dot fifteen. What well, it says, so what we should do is to permit TCP right so so we have see what do I do? Space, Okay, this is incomplete. Not send it is here. TCP So, so basically what that is is to host and then 172.22.34.62 and the EQ guys, EQ, And it's www for bingo. Now, to create a second access list statement to permit the ICMP traffic from PC2 to the server, not that the port will be the same and the specific type of ICMP traffic does not need to be specified. So what we could do We could do just do an R power, and instead of permit TCP, we're gonna make this be ICMP. ICMP one seven two at ninety, the wildcard number, and then the host to move up was ICMP. Let's remove these. Okay. 
So all of the traffic is denied by default. So the app, so let's exit the extended name ACL configuration mode, and we're gonna execute the show access list command and to verify that access list, HTTP only contain the correct statement. So let's go ahead and do exit. Let's do do show. Let's go ahead and exit out because we lazy. We don't want to keep typing all this. So let's say show access oh, access list. You see how it says extended IP access 100. And the permit 10. So you could read all this. So I got the SEL the correct edifice to filter the traffic. That's what we're going to do right now. So from what I want, perspective, the traffic that access list HTTP only applies to is inbound from the network corrected to the gigabit Ethernet slash, I mean, zero slash one interface. So we're going to enter the, end, the interface configuration mode and apply this ACL. Now, by the way, note that on the actual operate, operational network, it is not good of a practice to apply the untested access list to an active interface. It should be voided if possible. So please, listen. Let's go ahead and copy and do NFS gig zero slash one. And then we could do IP, sorry, IP address, IP address. I mean, IP access group, I mean to say IP access group, HTTP, oh, underscore only in. So if you verify the access, the SCL implementation, now you should be able to ping from PC, PC2 to the server. See, from PC2 to the server, server is, 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 is that? 30, uh, 62, so 172, that's 22, that's 34, 62. Let's go ahead and say pen, 172.22.34.62, right? So here, here we go, we have a successful pen. Now, so basically that's all that we gotta do in this lab to configure, to configure extended IPv4 ACLs. Thank you so very much for following along with me. I appreciate you. So stay tuned and take your time and come back and on subscribing to this channel, if you are a queer spoken, if you're from the island, if you have difficulty understanding those terminologies and labs, if you have a problem at work, you could always, uh, you could always give us, I mean, reaching out to us, leave a comment. We'd be more than happy to help you out as much as we could. Thank you so very much again. I'll see you in the next lab and lecture.